welcome back developers today I'm going to show you how you can create some Firebase database rules in your application so uh, I hope you know Firebase Firebase is a very popular uh, very popular uh, platform nowadays uh, created by Google uh, you can create any type of uh, applications with it uh, it's a cross-platform that means uh, you can create iOS apps or uh, web, web applications or android apps or uh, any platform you like and you can integrate it with uh, so many languages uh, or frameworks you want uh, so it's very easy to use and uh, you can create some great apps with it very easily so today i'm going to show you some uh, how to how you can create some database rules with it because when you uh, create an application you must uh, you must have uh, thought about your database security uh, and firebase uh, with the firebase you can do it very easily so uh, i have created uh, a tutorial uh, so I'm sorry i have followed this tutorial uh, to create a um, chat app um, the, um, this tutorial is very good and they are trying to uh, tell you that uh, how you can create uh, a chat app using firebase so uh, basically it's for web uh, and i'm going to show you uh, um, how you can add some database rules inside this app i'm not i'm not going to tell you about uh, how you can uh, make this app or whatever uh, i hope i will guide you some next time but uh, today in this episode of the uh, video uh, i i am focusing only how you can write some database rules with uh, inside your uh, data, uh, inside your firebase application so uh, <laughs> i am basically a little bit nervous so don't mind uh, okay so let's go uh, here is the uh, uh, online version of the app and uh, you can see it is running in the cloud so um, this is the application after creating uh, sorry after following this tutorial i hope you will go through this and uh, create some nice uh, app with uh, modifying this whatever so so let's come to the point uh, okay uh, this is the app uh, when you log in to the firebase uh, of your own account uh, then you can click it uh, whatever application you wanna develop uh, so here you can find a database option and uh, here is the database uh, schema or the data you inserted or deleted you can get it from here so uh, here you can see the database rules so we are focusing on this um, so basically you can see uh, there is uh, already some rules defined so I'm going to talk about this uh, so basically this is the application chat application so what you can see uh, if you uh, what we do in the chat app we talk with each other so uh, if I write something here uh, like example hello and send so I can uh, I will see that my mm, what I am talking in this here and uh, others uh, other users so we can talk and communication with each other so basically uh, in this application I have uh, created some authenticated users so whenever you are trying to uh, send some data send some message uh, here is a message that you must sign in first so uh, we have to sign in so uh, after sign in uh, sign in with Google its API so sign in to Google and here is um, my account and I have logged in successfully so uh, now now is the main point what we'll uh, see so basically if I type hello then send and we can see that it's working right so hello uh, another message I type another one so send so basically uh, the application is working perfectly So that means I can uh, make uh, I am making changes to the database. So uh, because the database uh, is retrieving this data and uh, showing us that it's working. 
so uh, now we will see how we can change the database rules uh, let's have a look so what uh, what rules are applying applied in this application so we can see that uh, rules are set this is json type data so uh, read and write so uh, read is authenticated is not equal to null and write is the same authenticated is not equal to null so this means that um, here okay yeah. so the code above uh, auth is not equal to null means auth is not equal to null so basically this piece of code tells us that if any user who is authenticated the user can read and write to the database so uh, so in these rules we can understand that if any user is authenticated that means authenticated is not is equal to null so that means someone is authenticated already now someone is signed up or logged in in the application so any user who is authenticated um, he can read and write to the data that means i can see that uh, all the data are view, uh, viewing here uh, or showing here and i can uh, make any changes so uh, if i type something it's working so i can write to the database and the data is inserted to the database so i can make changes so if i change uh, here uh, the piece of code uh, like something uh, we can see that uh, read is equal to true or write is equal to false so that means uh, uh, we can only have the read access or we can only show the data huh. so uh, otherwise we cannot even write the data to the database if we apply these rules let's have a look uh, okay i'm copying this piece of code and then i'm pasting here so uh, this is true and i will make it false also so basically this piece of code what will it do it will do that uh, it will have no access write access or read access so we cannot make any changes and we cannot see any data so uh, after any uh, you make any changes you have to publish so uh, the rules are set now huh? so after that you can check in your app so basically what are we happening what is happening so we we have we are not uh, viewing any data uh, we have not any data and we cannot even write also if i write something like hello and then send so the uh, see, you see the app is not working perfectly because just because uh, we have uh, changed the rules so uh, again we can see if we if we set this uh, read uh, read rules to true that means we only have uh, read access we don't have the write access okay so if we publish and then you can see the changes refresh it then okay the data yeah okay the data is retrieved and we can view it from here that uh, the previous data just because uh, we have enabled the write access uh, read access to true and we, we have no write access now still now because the write is set to false so we cannot uh, write now hello now if you write something and send okay that uh, it is working now uh, it doesn't mean to happen because we have set this to false okay okay so <laughs> i found out the problem so if we set the rules read to true and write to false that means we, we only can see the data we cannot write or cannot uh, create any more data so if i write something hello uh, now to or anything else anything that so if i'm saying the data so we can see that this data is uh, being here but if we actually refresh the page we, we will see that there is no data like this so the data is not inserted or the database is not uh, has not been changed so uh, basically that will be a bug uh, i will fix that later but actually we we are uh, we are seeing that um, the rules are being uh, being okay 
uh, the rules are being set and uh, it's working so uh, if we set uh, both to false we cannot write we cannot read uh, we, we, if, if we set any any, any of uh, these both to true th that will work and the false will not work so basically it's working and uh, after all uh, if we set something this like authenticated users is equal to null so that means it it will be uh, set something that only the auth authenticated users can uh, read and write so uh, basically this will this is the best practice because uh, we don't want any other uh, users or any other uh, uh, or, or not who, those who are not not authenticated not logged in uh, those uh, who have not no access uh, to our application we surely don't want them to make any changes to our database so uh, thank you basically and uh, <laughs> pardon me uh, for my rush and uh, for the nervousness but uh, i hope i have given some data uh, sorry i have given some idea to you that how you can make uh, change uh, how you can change the rules uh, the database uh, to <coughs> create an application in firebase so uh, i will i hope uh, i will create some more uh, tutorials later uh, about firebase uh, stick with me and uh, thank you all if you have any questions you can uh, comment uh, uh, or if you have any idea you can share with me uh, mail address is being given in the below uh, of the video so thank you and have a good day